Carlos, would you like to give us your review on the brand new movie, The Crow, starring Bill Skarsgård and is it FK Twigs? I don't know if it's FK Twigs or <coughs> maybe Faka Twigs. I don't know. How do you pronounce <laughs> no, it's, that? It's, it's FK. FK. It's FK. But is isn't it FKA? FKA? Yeah. Oh, Faka. It is Faka. FKA. Faka. Faka, yeah, Faka it is FKA. Twigs. But her real name is not that. That's What's her, her real name. name? Her real name and is. Why would you choose a, na- a, a stage name like that's so stupid? Her real name is Talia. Talia Ooh. Barnett. Talia Known professionally Barnett. as a British singer that goes by FK Twigs. FKA yeah. Twigs. <clears throat> or but I think when you say FK. Oh, I huh. see. You Maybe. I don't know. Is there anywhere yeah. that says how to pronounce this stupid name? Yes, I just did it. Okay, and? FK. Is it for real? Or you just being a dick. I don't know. People, who knows? Oh. Who knows what the world what the world holds when it comes to FK Twigs? FK. Uh, you know what it says here? Uh, stylized as supposedly that's how you're supposed to say it, FK. FK. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, give us your review on the oh, brand new was. movie, The Crow, starring Bill Skarsgård. If you don't know who that is, he played the clown in It. And uh, that's probably his biggest role. And he was in the latest movie called, is it, what's it called? Boy Kills World? Yeah, Boy Kills World. And he's the new crow. If you guys don't know the crow, everybody seems to know the crow. Brandon Lee played the crow. And he uh, died on set. And it became a very cult-like movie that people love. So Carlos, does it do it justice? No. I would avoid this movie one hundred percent. Um well here's the thing. With the original Crow, you had a love story, right? You had Eric and Shelley who were in love. You get a little bit of backstory. They've been together for quite some time. They're getting married, they're about to get married. And he's in a band. They live in a um I guess apartment complex and the, they want to run everybody out so they can bulldoze it and rebuild whatever well and then they get killed eric comes back because apparently a crow carries your spirit to the other you know the other side unless you need to write a wrong so you stick around and write that wrong once you write that wrong you go you know you die whatever you go to the other side well in this movie the reason i didn't care about the characters was because eric and shelly are junkies they meet at rehab they escape rehab just so they can go do drugs have sex and drink out al- drink alcohol and, and in a span of like two three days they fall in love so all of a sudden they're in love and then there's a supernatural element in this movie the main protagonist i mean antagonist sorry he's some sort of uh, he's some sort of made some sort of deal with the devil. And they never really explain why or how or when. They just say he made a deal with the devil. And what he can do, he can whisper in your ear. And this makes you kind of, your darkest emotions come out or something like that. So you become murderous, basically. Um, so anyway, so Shelly and Eric die. Eric no. is in love. And he ends up in purgatory. And oh. In purgatory, there's a man there who explains to him the whole crow thing. Un- unlike the original, where the the girl was a narrator and told told you how or why why this happens. So he goes back and forth between purgatory quite a bit. And then, uh, anyway, so he tells Eric, uh, "You have to. It has to be pure love for you to get revenge, and you have to kill everybody who did this in order for you to go to the other side." Anyway, he finally sees a, a video as to why Shelly was killed because she had this video of this devil dude. And anyway, he sees it. He falls out of love with Shelly. He gets shot. He doesn't heal again. He dies, ends up back in purgatory. And then the guy tells him, well, you fell out of love. And he said, okay, then I'll trade my soul for hers. He's trying to stop her from going to hell. He's going to trade souls and the guy agrees he goes back kills everybody and uh uh, switches places with her basically she comes back to life 
he goes to hell. But the uh, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. Um, for one, he only has like the crow makeup. It's not even makeup; it's black blood. He bleeds from his eyes. That makes him the, gives him the crow look. And uh, he's only it's only the last twenty minutes. Like it took an hour or so for them to even die, so it took a while. And then he kill and then he kills everybody with a sword, now with a gun, and then he kills a whole bunch of like doormen or hitmen or whatever at this opera house. And uh, yeah, there's a lot going on, but I'm kind of tired of talking about it because it's bringing <laughs> back bad memories that I wasted money on this film and time. So if you have questions, I'll answer them. But if not, mm, avoid it. Come you made on. it sound like uh, I want to see it. Mm, um... You don't. You don't. But I did hear that it takes an hour for him to even like become the crow. That's what I that's said. What where, he just said. That's what I just no, no, said. Where in, yeah. where in oh, you the just original, heard it. That's what you're saying. What you're saying yeah. is that you just where, heard it. Where in the original, it took 15 minutes. That's all you really get of the love story in the original is 15 minutes. The whole movie is him as the crow. Yeah, So exactly. And then I heard that they purposely didn't want him to use guns because of the whole Brandon Lee thing. It was that doesn't make any sense because everybody else uses guns. <clears throat> I thought the same thing no too. Sense. I thought the exact same thing. Um, I heard the opera scene was is is the best thing in the movie. It's like pretty much nope. the only thing worth seeing. It's not the nope. best part in the movie. What's the best part in the movie then? Oh, the credits. <laughs> oh yeah, that part is pretty good. Yeah, did you stay for the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. No, I was happy when it was over. I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. And I heard the crow isn't doesn't play the same part, the same role. Like in the other movie, the crow kind of guides him. And that is his yeah, power. Yeah, he can see through the crow's eyes. So not this one. Not this one. The crow just kind of flies. There's a whole bunch of crows. They just did a bunch of crows. Okay. Um, what do they call a bunch of crows? Or like a murder? A murder. A murder. A murder. A murder. Yeah. They call yeah. a bunch of skunks a stink. Okay. Mm. Uh, next question <laughs> would be. FYI. How does a he stench, kill the... They call it a stench. How does he kill the bad guy this time? Oh, around? this. This is dumb. So the bad guy shows up at the opera in some, it looks like an old Porsche shot. Who's the bad guy? Is it the guy, the devil guy? That's devil the guy. Bad guy yeah. right? Okay. Um, anyway, he shows up in old Porsche with a woman. Uh, Eric ends up killing the woman and he goes looking for the guy. Um, and he apparently already left the opera house. But here's a here's a funny thing is um, so Eric goes outside and takes the guy's car. So the guy's car is parked across the street, and Eric takes it to drive to the guy's house. I don't know how he knew where he lived. So maybe they cut that part Google. Out of it. Well, that's what I'm thinking. He probably had his GPS on his phone. They just edited that out you know, in the car on the cutting room floor because it take too long, right? So when he gets there, the dude is combing his hair, sitting out of vanity like he's getting ready for a date, just waiting for Eric to show up. So anyway, Eric, he ends up cutting Eric or shooting him. I can't remember. I think he shot him. And then he cuts his own hand, and he puts his hand on the wound of Eric, and they mix the blood. And so now he has crow power. So now he, too, is a crow. And we but, have a murder. But right when that happens... They both go to purgatory again. And in purgatory, he dies within like 30 seconds. The, the devil guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just done. Why? I don't know. Because all these like demons or whatever start grabbing him from underneath. And he oh, just... he's not allowed to be anywhere besides hell? I guess so. But the actor's name is Denny Houston or Huston. Um, yeah, so he, I mean, he plays a lot of bad guys. I don't think I've ever seen him as a good guy. He's always a villain. But uh, yeah, and then yes, oh, but here's yes, yeah. the weird thing. So Shelly comes up from the black water that's in purgatory. Eric grabs her hand. They say their goodbyes, whatever, and then she wakes up on the her on Eric's apartment floor where she got killed. And the guy that was in purgatory is now an EMT, get it being her the defibrillator to wake her, you no, know, try to bring her back because they were both suffocated. That's how they died. So uh -huh. the weird thing is. Now they're back at the point to where she died, but is resuscitated. So I'm wondering what happened to the days after that. Because clearly we went back in time to where she was killed. I want to 
to know. Okay, so she if he saved her life, so she's not going to go to hell. What happens when she really dies? Then where is she going to go? Is she going back to hell? Good question. Probably. I hate when they do that. They're like, I'm going to save this person's life from not going to whatever. I was like, but this person's going to have to die eventually. Yeah. <laughs> that, never, that never makes sense. And now she's you an know, orphan because her mom killed herself because a dude whispered into her ear and she jumped out the window of her apartment and, you know, became a pancake on the sidewalk. So she has no family. Question, um, hmm, so, yes. so he could, he basically loses his powers because he fell out of love. Yes. But he loved drugs. This is true. So, but yeah. he wasn't yeah, getting yeah. revenge on drugs. <laughs> Did he love drugs? Like people don't necessarily like doing drugs or drinking like that, especially if you're going to rehab. It's something you just do. You don't love it. No, but he volunteered to do it. He went back to Shelly's apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went back to Shelly's apartment. Yeah, They're because he's a fiend. Pop. Well, yeah, exactly. He doesn't so love he's it. An addict. Yeah, that doesn't mean you love it. Well, I'm not, I, say, I don't I'm not saying drinking, he loved it. Do it. I'm not saying he loved it. I'm just Lafayette said he loved it. Okay, yeah. But yeah, he's he's drug it. He's a yeah. He's an addict. They're, I don't know how you fell in love in three days. All of a sudden, you have pure love. Drugs. Three days. So he loved drugs. Drugs. That is drugs. No, seriously, drugs. Like you said, booze, drugs, and they're having sex for three days straight. He's he's yeah, like yeah, I'm exactly. all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, he's so, he's a guy. I, so if he actually <laughs> sobers, <laughs> so if he actually sobers up, he's probably like, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh, yeah. What the fuck is this yeah. bitch's name? FK Twigs? That's why once you know he, what? Uh... <laughs> you looked it up. It's actually pronounced FKA Twigs. You gotta spell okay. out, you gotta say all the letters, which is there's, a, there's periods in between each one. No, there isn't. It's just FKA no? Twigs. Yeah, which is mm. st- one of the stupidest stage names I've she ever heard. She probably doesn't life. know how to spell. She probably not. No, she's probably stupid. That's I'm going with I've, that. I've I've seen her something else too before. I just can't remember what it was. But um, okay, so you tell me this movie is a failure after all these years of them trying Absolutely to reboot this movie. A failure. It's a failure because see, the only positive things I've heard about this movie is that they try to change it a lot from the original. They try to give you more character development between the two, like Shelley and Eric. You know their whole love story and all that, but it just doesn't work. It's just it makes you go, why, why do I care? You're a junkie. You're both junkies. You both escaped from prison. Who cares? Prison and rehab are different. I mean rehab. I'm sorry, rehab, rehab, rehab. Yeah, yeah. I uh-huh. it, I think it, it probably would have been better if they kind of did a um, montage of whatever them getting better and like getting out at the same time and we're clean now. And then they think their life's gonna go great. Then they get murdered. You know what I mean? Like this is a fresh start. And then they get murdered. Right. No, but they don't. They go to parties. They're taking drugs. They're all this stuff. And then they get killed because she has a video. So her friend was killed over the video and then she shared the video before she died and then they went after her and the devil dude and all that shit and yeah yeah yeah. All right. All right. So you're telling me when I go to the movies this weekend I shouldn't watch 1992. I should watch The Crow. No, 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 no. You should God definitely damn it, watch 1992. So Do you guys go to the movies every week? I'm I was I was there before this show. Look, and we I'll are be going the after the show. Theater like survived Friday? during COVID, okay? Huh? I, I I'm I go once a day. Why do you guys waste your money? What? <laughs> Why do you guys waste your money on these things? So we can you can buy me a new microphone. People, you can buy you can buy me a whole new setup. People from wasting their money. That's why. Oh, you're a hero. Wait, wait, wait. Did you Thank say you. I could buy you a whole new setup? Both of you guys. You could save you your what? money and buy me a new microphone. A new microphone. Mm-hmm. To you, that is new. That's a new microphone. And this is like three years old. But it's still new to you because you didn't have one prior. <laughs> I have this one. It's not even what? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That stupid thing Put with that the back where you that. got it from. <laughs> anyway, so what's the final score? I'm gonna, now, now, before you tell me, before you tell me, Long Legs is your uh, bar. So what's oh your final score? <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. It's got to be better than that. <laughs> what is the worst and best movie you've seen this summer? Ooh. Uh, that's a great question. That's a good question. Because it seems like you've seen a lot of shitty ass movies. I have a lot of <laughs> shit movies. The worst movie I've seen this summer. Wow, it's a good question. Hmm. Huh. I would say Long Legs. Uh, Is the worst or the best? <clears throat> the worst that I've seen in theaters this summer. It's the worst. Um, I'm not going to count stuff I've back. seen. 
Well, I'm also not. I'm not going to count stuff that I've seen at home that I didn't Why? go to the movies because I'm I I didn't have to pay for that. So, for instance, mm. movies that I went to the theaters for. So definitely, Long Legs is the bottom of my list. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. There's been a lot of bad ones. A lot. Oh yeah, name two. Two. Yeah, name Jackpot two. is on the top of the list. <clears throat> okay, but we're, I'm saying That's movies the worst that you, that you went to the. <laughs> That you went to the theaters for is what I'm saying. That I went for the to the theater. For? Oh man, uh, Long Legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so a lot of stuff I streamed at home, like Netflix. And exactly. Stuff. Exactly. Uh, oh, see, I didn't know that you guys saw a lot of this stuff at home. I mean, I guess that you're wasting less time and waste money, but like, still, <laughs> you could be doing anything else. I mean, yeah. the thing about here's the thing about people that say. Oh, well, you're wasting time going to movies or you're wasting time. Well, you, listen, everything you do can be a waste of time, no matter how you look at it. I, I'm just not a game. movie person. Yeah, OK. And I get it because I know somebody's the same where he goes, I don't go watch imaginary bullshit. Like, <laughs> like he doesn't care. He's just kind of like, I don't give a shit what the hell Superman's doing now. I don't give a shit. Well, I, I understand that playing <laughs> video games is kind of the same thing, but at least you're interacting with the stuff. No, no. That's not my answer. That's it. <laughs> well, it's like one guy now um, goes, oh, I don't go to the movies. It's a waste of time. I could spend two hours doing something else. Well, you could, but who, who's to say that what you're doing in those two hours is not a waste of time either? That's what I'm saying. Like, you could be at home for two hours watching right, whatever. Or like like Baseball, you, know, you, you it, fall asleep for two hours. That's what I mean. Well, you know how sometimes... I mean, nothing's not a waste of time. <clears throat> No, no. Well, this is the, true. if, it, if baseball leads you to napping, then you wasted time. But... Yes. What I'm trying to say is, you ever find yourself in front of the TV and you're just literally going through everything and you just kind of just yes. settle on something because you're like, and you realize it. how long you've been doing it for, like flipping. Exactly, the... you wasted your time and your life. Now go do drugs, have sex, fall in love, and get murdered so you can come back and do something productive <laughs> with your life. If I ever come back as a crow, the guy's like, "Now go get revenge." It's like a second chance, right? I got time. This is, this is a time <laughs> yeah, exactly thing? right. Like I'm in love, I'm gonna stay in love, and I can't yeah. get killed. I can't I'm get much, killed. Yeah, I become a stunt like, man. Yeah. I become a stunt man. Like yeah, yeah, it's just there's so many things you could do. You know, like and now no. Real, also, real, real quick, are the characters have the same names? Fun boy and all these other guys, or no? They're not. They don't I have. Don't those really names. give you names. I mean, like you know what? I'm gonna have to check that because let's see. Uh, Only because I saw a scene that they try to at least it looked like they try to copy it where the guy says we killed you. Oh yeah, no, his name is Chance. So that's fun boy's better. All right, fun boy is better. Um, The only thing I'm trying to look up is if the main villain in the first one was Uh uh, Vincent, but I don't know if he was. Man, he was. Fun boy was the was like the. The Vincent had the long hair and he had the yeah, eyeballs had long he was playing around with. Right, yeah. right, right. Yes, no, yes, in the yes. original, his name was Top Dollar. Yeah, Top yeah. Dollar, the black guy. Top, top Dollar. Top Dollar. No, top, top Dollar was the main top villain. Dog, no limit. Had the long hair. Oh, I thought the black guy was Top Dollar. What's the black, black guy's guy name? was Grange. He had all the knives. Grange. Really? Yeah. Huh. The guy who got stuck Fun... with all the needles? No, no, stuck with all the knives. Fun Boy got stuck with all the needles. Oh, that's right. Fun Boy did. No, Grange. His name was Grange, according to... Okay, he got stuck with all his knives. The internet. Okay. And then the other fella... T-Bird. Uh, there, mm, yep, that sounds you got familiar. T-Bird. Yep, you got T-Bird. And then how about the one that's like kind of the pussy of the bunch? What about the Asian lady? Oh, yeah, the, that dude. The Asian lady was... Um... No, uh-huh. I'm not listening no, here. You don't oh, know. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Bai Ling. Biling. Her name oh, was Micah. Uh, so she just Micah. had a regular name. Uh, yeah, Micah. Oh, wait, that was wait, Bai Ling played that role? Yeah. I never knew that. Ling. Okay. <laughs> her okay, name was we'll... Biling and her real name was Biling. No, no, she played Micah. Micah. Oh, Micah. And then what is the other guy? The guy we're leaving out. The the guy that's like the pussy of the bunch. I'm trying to where is he? He's he is... not Oh no! Are you thinking of Tintin, the black guy? Tintin, is Tintin. the black guy. Yeah. Um, I think you're thinking of Skank. It is Skank. Yeah. Skank. Yes. Yeah. The guy with like Skank. almost toothless. He always t- he talks like he's almost toothless. That dude. Yeah. 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 Skank. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. No, only because I already asked about that scene because in the original Crow, the T-bird scene, where 
he duct takes him to the to his car seat and he's like freaking out about we killed you. Oh, they tried to yeah. So they tried to recreate that scene and it was really stupid. So he goes up to the guy, the guy sitting in the car outside, like where this guy works, the devil dude works. He goes up to the car and he kind of knocks on the window because the guy's probably smoking weed or just vaping or something, but and he goes, uh, he knocks on the window and the guy looks at him and goes, I killed you. Not freaked out at all or anything. Just super calm. And then he goes, yeah, you did. And then he just jumps in the back seat and points a gun at him. Give me all the names of people you're working with. And the guy pulls a gun and shoots himself. That dude chants. That's the end of the scene. I'm like, mm, that was ah, that was one of the best scenes in the original movie. Oh and well, like, yeah. So he anyway, him he... to the thing and he sent him off for another harbor. Car yeah, and he's like, he, and he's scared as shit. Yeah. What is your final score? Like I said, your bar is long legs. What's the final <laughs> score for the crowd? Well, I think we gave long legs a one. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. Got a one. You can give him up a, a zero zero a point zero zero one. That really makes it close to zero. No, the crowd's got to get a. Oh, he's thinking. The crow gets a one and a half. Okay, there you go. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, wow. All these people have been waiting for this reboot, and they just delivered a shit movie. Who's really been waiting for it, though? That is true, though, too. Really been that is true. All these so-called fans of the original movie that they're not, they don't give a shit. Wait, what does it get on Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, Like a six, I think. Oh, good question. Really? Yeah. Did it really? Yeah. Really bad score, like really, really bad. It like just a six, not a sixty-six percent, a six. Oh, Ron no, Tomato no, no. got twenty percent. It's at twenty now. Okay, when it first came out, it was like at a six. <laughs> yeah, twenty percent. Okay, all right. Well, that's you know, not horrible, I guess. Not horrible. All right, all right, all right. Well, there you go. Okay, we'll take a break here. Nurse talking the podcast. Got an okay, we're not taking I a break. An here. Announcement. Then that's on announcement. <laughs> Borderlands Four comes out in October or November. Oh, the, and, okay. And Batman: Arkham Shadows comes out in the next few months. You too. know what? Yes. Though? Good, good announcement because today Borderlands the movie comes out on streaming. Well, that's so true. There you go. That's what I was thinking. So I was good. thinking about your you shitty were, movies. Got it. Got it. See, good job, you. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a break here. Nurse talking to podcast. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 